How do you build a building that's half a mile tall? It sounds almost impossible, yet in cities around the world, steel and glass giants reach for the clouds, towering over streets and skylines. The secret lies not in a single invention, but in a symphony of engineering marvels working together to defy gravity and nature's fiercest forces. At the heart of every skyscraper are its foundations. Imagine the weight of a structure that pierces the sky, thousands of tons pressing down on the earth. To keep it upright, engineers dig deep, sometimes dozens of meters below the surface, anchoring the building to dense bedrock. Massive concrete piles are driven down, forming a sturdy base that spreads the load evenly and prevents the building from sinking or tilting. But the journey upwards requires more than just a solid footing. The iconic steel frame revolutionized skyscraper design in the late 19th century. Unlike traditional stone or brick, steel is both strong and flexible, allowing buildings to soar higher and stay slender. These frames form a skeleton, supporting each floor and distributing weight so that the walls themselves no longer bear the brunt. This innovation unlocked the possibility of those shimmering glass exteriors we see today. Of course, height brings new challenges. Wind at higher altitudes can be fierce, causing buildings to sway. To counteract this, engineers employ tuned mass dampers, giant pendulums or weights, often hidden near the top, that move in opposition to the building's motion, absorbing energy and calming the swaying. In earthquake-prone regions, skyscrapers are designed to flex rather than fracture, with shock-absorbing joints and sway-resistant cores. Every skyscraper is a balancing act, a triumph of precision and imagination. From the ground beneath our feet to the clouds above, it's the science of modern life that lets us build higher, dream bigger, and transform skylines into symbols of human ingenuity.